Hello guys, welcome to a new video where I will use Marshmallow to serialize, deserialize and validate JSON documents. This is very easy and very quick and it helps a lot to get abstracted of all the mappings between objects from the databases to objects of the view layer. If you're ready, I will just ask you to subscribe to my channel and let's go. This video belongs to a playlist where I build a complete backend with Python and Flask. As I said, Marshmallow will map my database entities to JSON objects to be returned to the frontend. But why do I need this mapping? A backend application is usually split into multiple layers, the database layer, the frontend and the service. There are other architectures with more layers, but let's keep it simple. This is called the three tier architecture and the name of each tier are the data tier, the presentation tier and the application tier. In the data tier, I have my entities which reflect the database structure. I may have some logic there related to a single entity, like parsing or mapping single fields or dates, building the full name from the first name and the last name, or some other simple logic. In the presentation tier is mostly located the frontend, with all the logic dedicated to the user behavior, how the user can interact with my application, how my application is presented to the user. And finally, the application tier contains the business logic. Here will be the cross entities logic, like calculating a price from the unit price of each element within a basket and with the user promotions. And now, why do I need to map my database entities to the front-end entities? Now that I have three layers, making a single object travel as it is the three layers isn't a good idea. The need at each layer isn't the same. In the database, I need my entities to be as normalized as possible, separated in multiple tables with their relationships. Nevertheless, in the front-end, I need some entities to be grouped and have some aggregations or calculations done in some fields. Because I have different needs, I need different objects with different structures. I may even need to hide some fields, as the password. The password field must never be returned from the database to the frontend. Marshmallow come in this step, making the mapping easy from the database tier to the presentation tier. First of all, let's add the Marshmallow dependency with poetry. As I will serialize objects coming from my database, from SQL Alchemy, I already have a dependency that fits perfectly that need. This will also add the raw Marshmallow dependency. I will now create some entities which serialize my SQL Alchemy object. The parent class will automatically detect the type of each field and adapt the JSON document returned. I must specify the model, which will be used to inherit the fields. I will also indicate to include the relationships, the children objects, and the load instance will create the group object when deserializing the JSON document, will create the group object with the reverse mapping. Let's now use this schema on the roots. Specifying many true, it will return a list of objects. I will create another example.
Nevertheless, this way, when centralizing the object user to a JSON document, it will export the password information. I don't want to send the encrypted password outside my system. This can be easily exploited. For that, I will indicate which fields to map. With auto field, it will detect automatically the type of the field. Okay, I've mapped some entities from the data tier to the presentation tier, but Marshmallow can also be used to map entities from the presentation tier to the data tier. I will now create some raw Marshmallow schemas for a particular case. I want an entity to validate the incoming body to contain the right fields when authenticating. I want to ensure that the body contains only the fields username and password when authenticating. And if the schema is correctly validated, it creates the user object. This user object will be used to search the user information in the database. After loading and validating the incoming content, I work with the user object, instead of a JSON document. Let's see the last example, the user creation with some particular validation. When creating a user, I want that the password has at least 8 characters, with uppercase and lowercase. I also want to verify that the email field really contains an email.
as before, create the user object if everything is correct. Okay, all of those validations are great, but I will enrich my error handler to return a particular error when a validation exception occurs, while parsing, while mapping the fields. Now, every time a validation error occurs, I will see this particular error message. In the error object, I can also access the field which was incorrectly set, and the desired output if I want a more verbose message. Ok, let's recap what I've done. I've added the Marshmallow SQL Alchemy dependency, which contains the raw Marshmallow dependency and a wrapper for SQL Alchemy. I've created schemas to serialize and deserialize the SQL Alchemy objects. The fields are automatically detected with SQL Alchemy Auto Schema. If I want a custom mapping, I can specify the individual fields and auto field to detect its type. I've also created some raw marshmallow schemas to map incoming objects from the frontend. I've used the validate decorator for custom validation and the postload decorator to return a specific object when the validation is done. Finally, I've added the validation error in my error handler to return a custom message when the validation isn't done correctly. That's all for this video. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to click on the thumbs up and see you in the next video.